You're done now. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Today I wanted to come and talk to you all about this new palette which I picked up from Makeup Revolution and it's the I well, is it I Heart Makeup London? I Heart Makeup uh, Chocolate Rose Gold Palette. Let's open it up. It comes in this really cute packaging as you can see there and it comes like this. Now I have all of their, I think I've got all of their chocolate palettes that they have so far and or most of them and this packaging is like one of my favorite because i look at that they've put the chocolate as the rose gold and then they've put the packaging as the chocolate color although it should be the other way around but oh well who cares um <laughs> but i thought that was really cool packaging so it comes with all the shades inside there and then you've got really large mirror so as you can see you get a mixture of mattes and you get metallic eyeshadow shades as well now inside you get eight shimmers and metallic and then you get eight matte eyeshadows as well so you get equal amounts basically on the inside of that apologies for the sun it keeps like it's like moving so it should be out of our way very very soon i just wanted to quickly come and just share my thoughts on it and also compare it to a palette that everyone says that it's supposed to be a dupe of which is the huda beauty rose gold palette but before we get started i want to do some swatches so the first shade that we're swatching is this champagne gold shade as you can see there and that's a really pretty shade second shade it looks green in the pan but it's actually like a brownie green color um i'm so bad at describing these <laughs> So you can kind of see it there it's got like these gold um shimmers in it as well gorgeous gorgeous shadow the next shade is a like a maroon kind of shimmer again beautiful color this next shade is more of a gold green gorgeous can you see that the next shade here is more of a chunkier kind of glitter shade but it's like a pinky glitter kind of shade definitely glitter so those are the colors in the first row right there and just to remind you it's the bottom row for you there so we're going to the middle row now and in this middle row we've got three metallics and three matte shades so this is the first metallic shade it's a copper kind of brown shade with a hint of like pink in it, it's beautiful actually, I like that. This is a pink metallic shade. I'm having to look in my mirror so I can see my swatch. Oh, this is beautiful. So it's a pink, but it has that gold shift to it. This is a more bronze tone. That is beautiful as well. The metallics are gorgeous, guys. Now all the rest are going to be matte shades. This matte is like a purple matte shade. That's what that looks like. Oh, these mattes feel so soft. This is like a more muted purple. Oh no, it's coming out pink actually when I swatch it on me. But that's beautiful too. This is a hot pink shade that I'm going to swatch here. You can see that there. So that's that middle row right there. Just to remind you, that's the middle row there. So quite stunning shades right there. Now I'm going to swatch the last row right here. So there's this like taupey brown grey shade which is here. It's quite a stunning shade. Then we've got this chocolate brown with a hint of more like purple undertone to it. Then there's this more red tone. Oh my gosh that is a stunning red. Then we've got this brown shade which looks like a good transition for me. And then we've got this matte kind of highlight cream shade there as well. Obviously those are swatches and I did finger swatches, but I definitely want to play around with these. Now, let's see what kind of uh, look we want to come up with. Now, there are so many shades in this that I really am intrigued by. I really want to try this bronze tone here, right there. And uh, I really want to go with the green as well, so we might do that too. There's not really a good base for me to use, so I'm going to try and lightly just dust my eyelids with this light matte colour, just so I have a base um, to then put all the colours on top of, if that makes sense. 
but just lightly dust it so it's not too garish. I'm gonna go into this lighter brown shade as a light transition first. I do have names, but without my glasses, guys, the struggle is real. I'm trying to read the names. Um, so I'm just gonna point the colors out to you. Oh, I like this as a transition me. That is really, really pretty. That as a transition color is stunning. It's a very subtle transition for me which works quite nicely. I think I'm gonna deepen that up a bit with this next like transition brown kind of shade for me. Go back into that and just warm it up a bit more. This eye is watering because I'm filming a foundation Friday video and I used a concealer and gosh, it didn't work out well. The concealer, it made my eye water terribly. All right, I'm gonna take this bronze tone right here. You guys can see that. And I'm gonna put that onto three quarters of my lid, I think. I don't even know if this is gonna be good with the brush or not. We're gonna see, oh gosh. The shadows in these definitely break up quite a bit. Not sure how well you can see it, but the shadow definitely is broken up quite a lot as I put my brush into that. So these might be best to use with your finger as opposed to the brush, but oh my gosh. Did you guys just see that? Whoa. Can you, wait, did you see that? That was just with the brush. I thought, oh yeah, use your finger, but the brush is more than enough. There's a lot of fallout with this. But can we just take a moment to appreciate what just happened right now? Because that is a stunning color. I don't know, if I sprayed my brush, Maybe that might help a bit with the fallout, even though it doesn't really need spraying. It's just, I want, I don't want so much fallout from it. Okay. We're gonna try the other eye with the spray brush and see. Wow, it's like liquid gold or bronze. Okay, can you guys see that? Stunning. Right, I really want it to go into that green shade, so I'm just gonna flip my brush over and take that green. Um, I might spray my brush again because I just don't want the fallout. Put the green on. On the outer V. I don't know what this look is about. Oh well. Wow. Okay, makeup revolution. I see. I see what you're doing here. This is decent. I really like it. Whoa! This formula feels so much more different to what I'm used to with some of their metallics. If they are duping the Huda Beauty palette, then they're definitely trying with the metallics here because these metallic formulas are crazy. Right, so I need to flip my brush over and kind of blend in the two colours so it's not so harsh. My eyes just watering like crazy. I've just realised I don't really have a black in this. I'm going to go into the darkest shade they do, which is like this brown first and see if I can kind of deepen things up. Oh, it's not really giving the effect that I wanted. really wanted a black. Let's see if I can go into this taupe colour. Okay, I went into a bit of the taupe to just kind of give me some form of depth other than brown. Um, so I'm going to go into the transition shades and just line under my eyes with that. For my inner corner highlight, I'm just going to take this gold here, this highlight gold, and just put that into my yeah. 
The eyes are now done, what do you guys think? I think it looks quite decent. Forget this eye because it's just watering like crazy, but I do like it. I like it a lot. Um, everything just came together really well and the pigmentation of these shadows is just really good. Big thumbs up to this particular palette. I definitely recommend it. So just put on the gloss. Um, this is the Makeup Revolution Truth Gloss. This palette, guys, I will give this palette a recommend palette. It is really, really cool. It does give quite a bit of fallout, I will say that, but the metallics in this are just crazy pigmentation. Like you're paying how much of these? $8.99? Something like that. And you're getting really quality eyeshadows in this. So I'm really, really impressed with this. Now let's look at the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette compared to this palette and see if there are any major comparisons there. So this is the Huda Beauty palette there. And mine has had quite a bit of love. I actually did really like this palette. I think initially I was a bit wary of it because it was quite an expensive palette. And also it's kind of one of those palettes where you have to really get used to using, if that makes sense. But I did do a review on it. I'll try and link the review to this that I did initially. I think this one, once it's sold out, it's not coming back because she's now got the Desert Dusk palette. I don't know if I'm gonna get that Desert, Desert Dusk palette because I don't know. I like this one. The colors in that don't really scream to me too much. The Makeup Revolution palette has 16 eyeshadows in it and the huda beauty palette has 18 eyeshadows in it so there are two shadows that they didn't really replicate in this hopefully you can kind of see the two um palettes there uh you can see how they have tried to replicate it so i know they haven't put in two shades they definitely haven't put in the black shade here and they also haven't put this caramel brown shade in the makeup revolution palette so those are the two shades that are missing now let's start with this shade here for a Makeup Revolution, the, the Shimmery Highlighter shade. They called it Hold Up in Makeup Revolution. Now, I believe Hold Up is a dupe for shade here, which is called Moon Dust in the Huda Beauty palette. So that's Makeup Revolution at the top and that's Huda Beauty at the bottom. So you can definitely see the similarity between the two there. So that is Touch Me by Makeup Revolution and that's Dubai. Now, Dubai by Huda Beauty has slightly more brown to it in certain lights, but to be honest, it looks very, very similar. Next is this pink shade called Dirty Rich by Makeup Revolution. And that is a dupe for Fling here by Huda Beauty. So that's Huda Beauty there, and that's Makeup Revolution at the top. Can you see them? Hard Work, which is this gold color. And that is supposed to be a dupe for 24 Karat, which is the gold here in Huda Beauty's palette. 24 Karat is definitely slightly more yellow, whereas the Makeup Revolution one has a slightly more green undertone to it. And then Lux here by Makeup Revolution is quite similar to, I believe, Rose Gold, which is here by Huda Beauty. Rose Gold is definitely um, one of the more trickier shadows because it has that kind of loose, more loose pigment to it. Makeup Revolution have kind of done that with this, but instead of being more loose pigment, they have just made it more sheer. So you can see the two there. So check is this color here. That's the first metallic color I put all over my lid. Um, this one is a dupe for Trust Fund. And this is what Trust Fund looks like right there. So that's Huda Beauty Trust Fund and that is Check by Makeup Revolution at the top. Makeup Revolution's one is more intense than the Huda Beauty one. And I think I prefer the Makeup Revolution colour. This shade here is called Barbie and it's a dupe for Angelic in the Huda Beauty palette. That's Barbie, it's that rose, it's that pinky gold colour. And this is Angelic. Can you see the two? Very, very similar shades right there and then the last metallic shade that we've got is the shade in the makeup revolution one called gold digger which is that bronze tone sorry i'm having to do it here that's gold digger and then that is a dupe for this shade here which is called blessed in huda beauty's palette and you can see they're very very similar shades 
I don't think I'm going to swatch the matte shades because mattes are just mattes, but you can definitely see the similarities between the mattes here as well. As I've said, it's just the lighter brown and the black that's missing in the Makeup Revolution palette. Huda Beauty's mattes I find when I'm swatching them to be quite dry normally, uh, but on the eye they do perform quite well, so I do like her mattes. But overall guys, I really, really, really like this palette. You can definitely see that it is a dupe for the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette, but you know what, I know some people don't like dupes and all of that, but I think, th I think this is a good dupe for uh, this palette definitely, especially as this one is going to be discontinued. I like the fact that there is something on the market. There are other dupes out there as well, like you can get them on Amazon. I know like Hush, it's or whatever that website's called. I know the Aphrodite palette has a dupe for the um, Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette as well, which everyone raves about. I'm still trying to get my hands on that one. I really like this and I definitely think it's worth the money. £8.99, really enjoy it. And I've always really enjoyed the, um, Makeup Revolution, the chocolate palettes. I've always really enjoyed them and I love collecting them. So yeah, that's it for me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that and I will see you very soon in my next video. Take care guys, see you soon. Bye.